So today I'm going to show you how I make one of these um, texture rollers using an extruded tube. So here's one. These were the first ones I ever made like this. And this one, which is my least favorite because the lines are just not deliberate enough, which I can show you what I mean. I'm going to take this little piece of clay and there are, it's okay. I just don't love it. I much prefer how these look nice, strong lines. So it's really up to you what your what you want to get out of this. You know, like how strong a line do you want to do? Anyway, I used those rollers on this um, bisque, uh, I mean, greenware mug, stoneware mug. And I can't wait to glue that and see how it looks. And then this is the only one that I have that's finished on a mug. This was a hand-built mug. Um, the other one is also hand-built on um, porcelain. And it's pretty nice with, you know, with the way the glaze breaks on the texture. So I'm pretty excited to do more of this. So I have a bunch of different tools that I've been using to carve with. And I'm still trying it out, seeing what I like. So there's a lot of them. Um, one of my favorites is to draw the lines with the, the end of this uh, diamond core tool. Uh, draw like a design, right? And then I really like using these uh, sim tools with the little balls on the end. You can get them from different people to carve out lines with from the drawings. I use the Scrafito tool sometimes, and I've used a variation of these different carving tools that I have. They're great, different brands. And I sometimes use this as a cleanup tool and the Scrafito. Anyway, let's uh, get started. So I have a extruded tube. You can see here and I'm going to show you how I do a design I did actually start messing with it um, but I'm gonna start show you, showing you what I did there so I decided you I mean you can do all kinds of things you can use if the clay is soft enough you can use uh, uh, stamps sometimes metal stamps if you have that would work better on, on a leather hard clay um, but what I and or you could just carve a design in whatever you want to do which is like what I did on the flowers and the swirls actually all three of those or you can use something like this cookie cutter to give you an impression so I thought it would be fun to do something with circles so I'm just using my cookie cutter to put some circle circles in here just to give me a starting place and then using the tiniest oh so the reason why this is not good enough, I'll show you, it's the lines are too thin, I think, is if you take um, a piece of clay like you saw me do, you have to be a little more careful because this is greenware, and you press it in, but you can't even see the line. It's not good. So I take my tiniest SIM tool ball to start with, and I carve around using that circle as an a um, guide. I mean, you could do this whole thing from, uh, what do you call it, without um, drawing, you know, like I said, you can just draw on here. Okay. And then, let me get that clay a little better. And if you're careful, you can test the impressions. So, but remember, you're working with greenware. I didn't really smooth that out. But then you can decide, is that a thick enough line or do you want it to be thicker? I actually kind of like that. So I think I'm going to stick to this thinner line right now. Anyway, I'm going to work on these circles and then I will come back and show you the next step. So I was playing around with the cookie cutter and I realized that I could make like circles within circles by just sort of um, putting the cookie cutter down and just wiggling it a little bit and then if I went too far I would um, move the line away so I thought this would be a fun way to get some additional I probably won't do it for every circle but just to get an idea of uh, like different things that you can do with texture like see that and but let's try another one and scratch oh here see I had a hole in that one so I can do that and then 
maybe we'll do. I, I know it's hard to see. I don't know how to show you how I'm doing it. Anyway, that's kind of fun. So I'm going to continue from there and I'll be back. So I've carved out the roller um, with, you know, with the tool that I showed you with this sim tool with the smallest um, whole, uh, ball on it. And now I want to test it out. Now, this is a um, still obviously greenware, so you need to be careful. So I've got, but I've got this soft piece of clay and I'm just going to not press as hard as you would if it were already bisque and just try to get an idea of what it's going to look like and see if I like the lines. Well, that's pretty cool. That looks like fun. Hopefully you can see that. It's like kind of like little bubbles. And um, I wanted to just show you some other things that I did with along the same lines with the same circle cookie cutter. So I've got, this was actually the first one. It's just, um, a small one with the the circles without overlapping it's a little drier so I can press it a little harder and its lines are slightly I used a slightly bigger um, one of these sim tools so it's a little bit wider lines and then I did this one which is also circles and then with lines in it so let's see what that one looks like fun so you can see if there were like parts that I didn't like at this point I could mess with it a little bit more um, you know take my tool and maybe just carve a little extra and I've been using a brush to sort of get rid of the little blobs it's a little bit easier when it's leather hard to do this when it's soft leather hard it's a little difficult because the pieces stick a bit Anyway, this is really fun to do. You should definitely give it a try. You can see that there's a variety of things that you can you can do. Oh, let me just show you what it, it's like with one of the, how you would roll it with the deeper. Um, so here you can see I'm, with the bisque one, that's what I'm trying to say, pressing really hard. And you can see what the impression looks like compared to when I did it with the greenware uh, piece. So anyway, it's really fun. So if you don't have an extruder or access to an extruder, you can take like a rolling pin or any cylinder, a toilet, uh, not toilet paper, a paper towel roll or whatever, and you can put a slab around it and make a tube. It may be a little bit harder to get it to be this nice and round, but you can certainly do it. And then you can um, try this out. And you can see I also did it in all different sizes, which is fun to do, too, because you get different um, patterns that you can do. Uh, you know, if you're doing a hand-built mug or a tray or whatever, you can do, use it differently depending on um, the size of the roller. Anyway, that's it for now, and I hope you give it a try, and I will see you next time.